How is it going everybody? You're watching Then About Tech and today I'm going to show you this. Take a look. How to lock your iPhone screen on one single app. So as you can see, I can't exit this app, which is YouTube in this example, but this works on any single app on your iPhone. So I can't lock the screen. As you can see, I'm tapping here. It's not locking the screen and I can't even adjust the volume. And I can actually set so I can't even touch. So as you can see, touch is disabled. Of course, all of this is fully customizable and super easy to do. So as you can see right here, I'm locking this app individually right here so that no one can exit. And this is super interesting if, for example, you have a toddler, a child, or you lend your phone, you give it to a child very often and you don't want them leaving the app or adjusting or tapping on anything, right? You want them locked on one single app or if you're just giving your phone to a friend or a family member and the same thing, you don't want them taking a look at your stuff. So then they'll be locked right here. Let me show you how this works. I bet you're gonna love it. Let's get started. Okay, so I love this process because it's all native. We don't need to download or install anything and it's already updated to iOS 17, but of course it works on previous versions of iOS as well. So all you have to do is tap on your settings and then scroll down a bit until accessibility and then scroll quite a bit until you see guided access right there. So tap on guided access and then just enable it. That's the feature itself. It's called guided access. Right here, we can tap on passcode settings and it's super important that you set a passcode, otherwise it won't be really safe, right? So tap here on set guided access passcode and you can create any passcode that you want. And I recommend that you choose a different passcode from the one you use on your lock screen just to make it super safe, okay? I'm gonna create like, uh, as you can see right here, a super safe code, but I don't recommend of course you to choose that. And you also have the possibility to use face ID on your guided access. I'm gonna show you in a second how that works okay so right here is pretty much everything that we need enable the feature adjust the passcode and that's pretty much it okay so the way it works it's super simple you go ahead and you open up the app that you want to lock in okay so go ahead here and let's try YouTube as an example because it's a very common app that we're gonna use this feature and then all you have to do is triple tap the side button this one right here so one two three okay let's do it one one, two, three. And as you guys can see, it's gonna ask if you wanna use either voiceover or guided access. You tap on guided access and then that's it. It's already enabled. But of course, we have some settings, right? So all you have to do is triple tap once again. So one, two, three. It's gonna ask for the passcode, that one that I've just created. Okay, so tap on it. And then right here we have the settings. And this is the most interesting part because here you can choose how you wanna allow or disallow access to the app, right? So tap here on options. And right here is where the magic happens. For example, if you tap here to disable side button, it won't work. The side button won't work if you wanna lock the screen while in guided access. So then the person won't be able to lock the screen, right? Uh, volume button, same thing. This can be extremely useful if you have, again, a child using and then you don't want them to have access to the volume right to put the volume too high great feature motion as well so if you want to you can allow motion right so uh, if you want to allow the app to go to landscape and portrait it's your choice and of course we have here keyboards touch and time limit so if you want to disable touch you disable it right here and then the touch won't work while in guided access and of course you can either create a time limit and as you just saw when touch is disabled it just won't work at all doesn't matter what the person does touch won't work any touch inputs but take a look at this option which i really love if you allow touch as you can see the screen becomes uh, colorful again right so the person will, will be able to touch while in guided access as you tap on done there is another cool thing which you can do is which areas of the screen you want touch to be functional. So for example, if I circle this area right here and it's going to automatically pick a, a form, but of course I can adjust, for example, okay, this portion of the screen won't be in use. So if I tap on resume, guided access is on, okay, as you can see, 
right here I can play in pause, right? But right here, touch isn't available, just isn't available at all. So as you can see, you can choose which parts of the screen you don't want the person to have access to. Of course, uh, you can adjust to exactly the app you're going to use, and this may be extremely helpful as well. Okay, and please keep in mind that those settings will be defined by app. So those settings will be just for YouTube. If you want to set this for multiple apps, every app can have its unique and individual setting for touch, for buttons, for areas you want to gray out, whatever you want. So how cool is that? And of course, when you want to disable guided access, all you have to do is triple tap, one, two, three, and then put on your passcode right here, and then end right there, in your iPhone is back to normal. You can use it as you wish, do whatever you want, your iPhone is back. Next time you wanna give your phone to somebody else, one, two, three, it enters guided access after you press here, and then as you can see, it remembers all of the settings all of the things so i can't go to my home screen as you guys can see right here i can just scroll but i can't go to home screen i can't lock volume same story right here so guided access is back and of course if you want to exit guided access with face id double press use face id it's ended you can leave and again it's back to normal so that's it that's how you lock your iPhone screen on one single app. Super easy. Now you're gonna do it. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one as usual, guys. Bye bye.